If you're buying a house and you're gonna get a mortgage, you're going to also need some money of your own. That's gonna to be to cover down payment and closing costs. And a mortgage company cares where you get that money. So you need to be very specific with your lender where your down payment and or closing costs are coming from. So here are some, some things to remember on where they can and where they cannot come from. This is not an exhaustive list, but it is a pretty complete list. So uh, as far as the closing costs go, you or the seller or the realtor or the lender can help all help contribute to paying those closing costs. The down payment, however, needs to come from you. Um, this you can be um, you or anything, any money that you've saved in your personal accounts that could be investments, it could be stocks, it could be um, you could get a gift but the gift needs to be from a family member and not a family member that is giving it to you from a trust. A trust is not an acceptable source of down payment, believe it or not. So even though you may own that trust or the gifter may own that trust in their own name, that can't be a gift source. So the money needs to come from an actual personal account. So keep that in mind. Also, if you're gonna get a gift, it can come from a family member or an employer. I know it doesn't sound like you might be able to find your employer to be so generous to give you a gift, but I have seen it happen and it's pretty great. Um, you can get it from secured borrow funds, borrowed funds. So you, if you have a, another home, you could have an equity line or take out a loan against that and take the funds from that. Uh, a car could be, a secured um, source so you can take out a car loan before you do this though you should definitely talk to your lender to make sure that you don't end up with a monthly payment that then makes you not qualify for the loan that you're applying for um, you can also get uh, down payment sources from if you qualify and you're eligible you can get down payment assistance and so you can literally go into a home with no money from your own accounts from for the down payment the seller can cover all your closing costs. So if coming up for with money to cover these things is a challenge, there are options. And there's also some zero down loans, like if you're a veteran or um, you could do a USDA loan if you buy in an eligible area. So there's lots of things to remember about your down payment and closing costs. It's important that you tell your lender your plan so that they can make sure that your plan matches what the, what the loan will allow. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, let me know.